Every day, I help an animal walk again. You have performed a miracle. This journey is one of triumph. That's what this is all about. I got Olive at eight weeks old. As a therapist, I was looking for a dog to introduce into my private practice to be a therapy dog. Olive is a very calm, loving, smart puppy. And she's my six-month-old golden retriever. Olive was born with a deformed paw. She limps. Usually when people are coming into my office, they're very stressed or upset sad, they have a lot going on, so to just be able to have this dog come and greet you, and you can see the joy on people's faces immediately. She'll lay with people, lick them, and they just love her. She's, I think, the perfect therapy dog. I'm hoping that she can live the best life that she can. I just want to make sure that she's like not in pain and can move around as easily as possible. How's Hello. it going? Good. All right, hey Olive, you are like the cutest dog. Whoa, you're the cutest dog ever. Tell me a little bit about Olive. She limps quite a bit. If I take her for a walk or she'll play with another dog, it's usually two to three days of her getting back to her normal self. Yeah, what happens with these guys is their other front leg or wrist will start to collapse to the point where she wouldn't want to Olive. walk on that leg either. And then you gotta be confined, restricted to a cart. Let me see you walk a little bit, Olive. There you go. On command, look at you. You know, there's bones missing. She's fused right at the wrist, right here. And then these toes are a little hypermobile because of this fusion. So she probably gets a lot of tiny little tears inside okay. her paw, and that's why she's going up lame. Okay. So building her that prosthetic device is exactly what she needs okay. to keep her going, keep her moving around with all these dogs and, and not having to have that limp. I'm gonna go get all my casting supplies. Okay. We'll get that cast started. All right. All right, so I just met Olive. Probably one of the cutest dogs I've ever met. We're gonna make a combination prosthetic orthotic. It's called a prosthosis. Basically that means she's able-bodied, but she has a leg length discrepancy. One leg is longer than the other. So I need to fill that gap, keep her level at the shoulders, keep her spine aligned, and she'll be on all fours in no time. All right, Henry, come here, buddy. Come on. So I just finished with Olive's prosthesis, and we're gonna do the initial fit. Hopefully everything's fitting perfectly, and the heights are right. But it's always up to the animal. That's always the biggest hurdle, is just getting them to use it. So check it out. There's this your booty. This is awesome. Wow, you look, think? Olive. You wanna try it out? All right. So let's strap it on and see what we can do. A little bit longer. Okay, one more, one more. Yeah. Okay, yeah, shh. It's okay. Good. We're gonna let her go and see what she does. Some dogs won't move at all. You're gonna play the dead leg game. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Come here. Here. Yeah, is she doing the kickback? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm happy with the fit, so yeah. I might say we can go to a more distracting place, okay. um, which is in the lab yeah. in the back. Sure. And uh, does she chase balls? Yeah. Good. All right. Olive, Olive let's go. On. Come here, check it out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Good job. Let's see what she does. She's kicking that leg back. It's what they do. How quickly they stop doing that is always the question. She's not confident with her paw without the brace, and this is a foreign object on her, so it's gonna take a little bit of time before she realizes she can put weight down on it, her paw doesn't hurt, it's level. Yeah, let's just give her a couple runs and see. Yeah, okay. I wanna get her putting it down. Ready? It's close, there, okay. Yeah, that's looking there good. Go, yeah. That's good. 
Yay! You tapped it a little bit better that time. Good girl. A little more weight into it. You did it. There we go. Yeah. Seeing the transformation is really like an incredible process to see. I think she's going to be fine. Um, she's going to get stronger and stronger. And once she has more control over that leg, she'll have more control over the device. And she's going to be walking, running, doing everything. I'm really excited to continue working with her. And my goal is to see her running as fast as she can on the beach every morning. So that's what I'm hoping for. You did so good, buddy. She's a good girl. <laughs>